In 1822, a New York clergyman named Clement Clark Moore spun together Christmas memories for his children. The poem he wrote featured a red-suited Santa in a reindeer-drawn sleigh, a never-empty sack of toys and stockings hung expectantly above the fireplace. He called it A Visit from St. Nicholas, and it was then published anonymously in a newspaper in Troy, New York. It captured the public's imagination. The poem's opening line, "'Twas the night before Christmas," soon replaced the original title. One reason Moore's poem has endured is that it is a joy to read aloud. Beginning in a hushed suspense, the poem builds to a dramatic crescendo as the rollicking verses usher in the mysterious midnight visitor. A tale of anticipation and wonder. The night before Christmas has become a holiday tradition in itself for many families. So, as you listen to these pages, whether for a first Christmas or to recall those past, Celebrate and share the timeless joys of this enchanting holiday. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a Luster of midday to the objects below. And what to my wandering eye should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles his course as they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now, Dasher! Now, Dancer, now, Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now, dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop the courses they flew, with sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pouring at each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face, and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him, in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know there was nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew, like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night.